Alrighty, welcome back to Tractor, the program that you will either love or it'll make you hate yourself. At the moment, I hate myself because it's just being a real bitch. Okay, so we've now got play, our uh, cue and play on deck A and deck B, which is super handy. We'll just put this in here as well. Okay, um, actually, no, we want a different, we want a different track in there. Not the same, same damn track. Cool bananas. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to map these cue points. So Tractor's had cue points for a long time. Um, and Pioneer and Record Boxes are just sort of catching up. Excuse me. But Record Box has been, uh, sorry, Tractor has been really good with these for a long time. So here they are. The first one, we'll jump to that. That's one. So that's our grid marker, which we talked about earlier. That's in the white, and down here it says grid. We're going to leave that as is. But we and we're going to map these. So let's go back to our controller. Okay, we've got our January keyboard here. And we're going to add an in. Gets a little bit more tricky here. So we need to go to track deck. We need to go to Q, and then we need whoops. Then we need select, set, and store hot Q. Let's do that. Okay, same thing. Deck A. Let's go learn, and we want this to be key number one. So when we hit it, it gives us some options. So the value here, we want it to be the hot cue for number one. Awesome. Okay, it's a hold, so it's a press and hold button, which is what we want. So once we release it, then it stops doing the thing. Let's duplicate that. And let's go hot cue number two. And let's go button number two. Boom, it's already on deck A, nice. Duplicate that again. This one's gonna be hot cue number three. And we just hit the key three on our keyboard. Boom, this is awesome. Duplicate, then let's hit, you guessed it, number four. Boom, you are awesome. I can't believe how excellent you are at this. It's just, you're a natural. Okay, let's duplicate that again, but we're gonna do it for deck B now. So on my keyboard, we've just used one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna use Q, W, E, R, because they're right underneath it. And they, that's gonna be for deck B. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's do that. Duplicate. We want this to be deck A, we want this to be hot Q number one, and we want the letter Q. Boom. It's a hold as well, let's duplicate. This time it's gonna be hot Q number two, and I want this to be W. Boom. Let's duplicate. Hot Q number three, this time it's gonna be the letter key E. Boom, and let's duplicate it one more time. And this is gonna be, you guessed it, number four, and we're gonna hit R on our keyboard. Awesome, let's close this up and let's have a look at what we've done. Okay, so we've just assigned three hot cues, but you can see they're all on the same um, same position. So we need to be careful here. We're gonna hit four and we're just gonna delete that one. Let's hit three, delete that one. Let's hit two and delete that one. And just like I said before, if you delete this one accidentally, oh, changes the grid markers, so we have to go back in and tell Tractor where to dump that. So we get on a grid and we just use this one here. Boom. And we'll move that. That's our spot. Okay, so there it is. Now, if we go back to Q, let's put some Q points in. So we've got one at the start. We don't move that number one. Always keep number one there. But let's go, ah, uh, actually, let's go to this move button. Let's move ahead 32 beats. Boom, boom. So you can see there was a little breakdown there. Let's have, hit the Q button, which is S. See what's going on there. Mm, let's move forward another 32. Uh, let's go 64 actually, so two times 32. All right. So there's the, the main, the first um, verse of the track. So let's put, go to Q, let's go two. We'll just hit the two button on that thing. So now we have a Q point there. If we press and hold that and we want to play from there, just keep pressing and holding and then tap your play button, which is now A. Boom. And if we want to jump to one. Yeah, nice. And because we've got it quantized, it's going to stay in time when we hit these, these buttons and just get us out of trouble. All right, let's have a look over here. So on this track um, on the B deck, you can see I've got my number one at the start. Oops, I think I've done something silly here. Deck A, okay, yeah, I forgot to change these to deck B. My bad. 
Let's change these to deck B. You probably spotted that and it was driving you insane. You're like, stop. Wait, dude, you've gone. To, you've done the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, cool. Yes. Okay, so the first one is the grid marker. All right, and that's auto grid. So we don't want to change that. <clears throat> we always leave the one as is. Now you can see two here is a loop. So if I hit three, that's a Q because it's blue, but two is a loop. So how do we do that? Pretty simple, really. What we'll do first is we'll delete it. So and then I'll, um, actually no, we'll leave that one and I'll make a loop over here. So let's go to two. And up here, when we're in Q, we've got our loops. So we can do an eight beat loop, eight beat loop, or a 16 beat loop. And you can see that it's highlighted. So if I press play, oh my God. Okay, it's gonna loop it perfectly. Because we took the time at the start to make sure our grid markers were fine. We're, we're good and sharp. If I hit Q now, or two, it deletes that um, loop. So it's not there anymore. But we wanna keep that loop and we want it to be at number two. So what do we do? We highlight it. And then down here in our drop down menu, we just change this to loop. Boom, now it's a loop. Now when we hit two, it's gonna play at that loop and it's always gonna be active. So if we press and hold two, then tap the A button, which is play, it's playing. If we wanna turn this off, we can just simply unselect that. Let's do that again. Or we can activate, deactivate it. Activate is pretty handy, so if you're playing along and you want that the next loop to um, activate without actually jumping to it, you're doing other stuff with your hands, you just hit activate. And once you've got activated, it's just gonna activate the next loop. So once it gets into two, it'll start looping. That's pretty handy. Yeah, you can change it on the fly. If it goes way down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, you've probably heard that effect before. We're gonna, um, later on, we're gonna um, map another button to that um, so that you can play it, because you I for sure would have heard that in some kind of EDM um, um, DJ set. All right, so that's it for this video. So we've mapped, we've done a bunch of cool stuff. We've mapped the Q the Q buttons, we've mapped some um, Q markers and we've turned them into loops as well if we want loops. Um, fantastic, so on, on this one, it's really good. So hang on, let's have a quick look. Let's just delete this, we select it and then delete this. So if we just go back four beats, one, two, three, four. Whoops, that's activated. Turn that off. All right, cue that up by hitting Q. It snaps right to that grid because we've got snap on. And let's make a four beat loop. Boom, and let's just hit the key two on our keyboard. Boom, and now let's have a listen. So it's a low pass, so that you can hear that they've, you've got rid of the, the kicks. So you can loop in here, and then you can start mixing this this loop into, um, into this song as this song's exiting. And then when you're ready, there's the bass. Nice. All right, cool, thanks so much for watching. I gotta keep these videos short, uh, otherwise, um, YouTube has a shit. Whoop. Yes, I know I've got my alarm set. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Next, we're going to MIDI map these um, kill switches. And then we're going to start having some fun. Alright, ciao.